Hey guys, it's Madam Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo for the first day of recording in real scheduled time. So you get your first full episode that is going to be along the lines of the rest of this project. We're gonna start with... Ooh, it's our letter from Caesar. Wait, I suppose the furniture you sent me is what you like? <laughs> yeah, because I love that instruction manual life. That's pretty descriptive of my taste. I'm sending a little present for you too! Okay, well, we're gonna check out this present then that Caesar has sent us before we get started. I saved my pitfall from the other day, so we'll be able to use that probably on Caesar. And this is a washing machine! Just what we always dreamed of. Now something I love for this particular item is that it is fully functional. If I remember, I think you can actually store stuff in this? Oh, I put my Wii U up too! Oh, I was like, what is that sound? It's because it's raining outside. That's something I forgot about, is that the rain sound effect is a, a thing. Well, wait, can I put stuff- Oh no, it must be the refrigerator or something that you can put stuff in. Never mind, I'm just wrong. So now we have this really amazing looking house. And I believe we have enough to pay off our second loan, so we're going to take care of that today. And I'm going to clear up a few things that I have been asked thus far, as I was unable to answer any sort of questions before now, because I had to record things ahead of time. So anyway, I'm so glad you guys are loving this project so far. And oh, Caesar wishes the rain would end. All right, what's the latest? Well, I think of it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the only disappointing thing is that right now a lot of what the neighbors are gonna tell us are going to have to do with tips for playing the game and they're gonna ramble on and on about stuff we already know because I've already played this game, so... Anyway, I'm gonna do kind of a, a run around while I'm talking about a couple things. Now, I asked last time about the town initiatives. Let me just pull this up really quickly. So, um, the, let's see, yes, the orange text is one day only. Yeah, because it's only good for today. Sorry, I had to keep this straight. I was like, I'm gonna say this backwards if I'm not careful. Orange text is a daily mission, whereas blue text is for the week. So here are all of our missions, or initiatives, sorry, I can't say the right word to save my life. But anyway, um, we're not going to worry about that too much. It's just kind of an addis bon- addis? See, I still can't speak to save my life. It's just kind of an added bonus for us at this point, because we're still getting acquainted with everything within this game. And we're gonna- Oh! Look at how cute Harvey is in his rain gear. And he's got the little, like, rain shuttle over his- his stuff. What is this? Like, podunk mirror and sink set. That's in- You know what? We should live in the bathroom! Oh my god! Yes! Okay. Well, that sounds like a party in the bath- Oh, we should have a party in the bathroom house! Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. So excited now. Ooh, didn't expect to see you here, Joan. They call it Stormy Monday. But Tuesday is just as bad. Oh, hello. You don't mind little old me camping here, do ya? So, Joan is still affiliated, associated, and just kind of the queen of Sundays and selling turnips. So, she continues to do that. She is. Um, marketer, merchant, whatever. Uh, you can only spend so much time growing and selling turnips, 99.9% .9 of your time, it turns out. In her spare one, 0.1%, Joan loves a good camping trip. Well, that's very strange. So let's see what she has for sale. All very Japanese things. None of this seems like a party in the bathroom. Alright. Well, thanks Joan. We'll be seeing you later. Anyway, so I believe in my previous Animal Crossing project, she was one of the NPCs that we saw the least just because she only came on Sunday and it's only in the morning and I rarely played early enough for her to be there. Wow, that was cool. Um, so I'm just gonna 
point out that we probably won't see her a whole lot again, just knowing me and how I record. Um, so anyway, yes, thank you all so much for your tips, by the way. I do want to point out, I asked about the money rock because I said I believe you can get 16,000 bells a day, which is true. If you hit it all eight times, you get 16,000 bells. Now, I have the golden shovel in my other game, in my other town, and I know for a fact that very, very rarely you can get more than that. I know I've doubled that before and gotten 32,000, but it's extremely rare. It doesn't happen very often. Oh, shoot, is this a new neighbor? <gasps> I didn't even read the title screen. I bet Isabel said something about this, but I like to ignore things, so who is it? <gasps> it's a bear! It's Tammy! Triple rainbow! That's a whole rainbow man! Ah! Oh! I love the bears! It's a cub! Oh my gosh! Okay, so this is something I want to point out within this game as well. This brings up a whole new topic, and something that I noticed in Animal Crossing New Leaf is that when you have one species of neighbor, you tend to attract the same species into your town. So our chances of getting another cub, like Blue Bear for example, is very very good now that we have a cub in our town. Which is why having a freaking gorilla is against my taste, although I will say one character in this game that I actually really love is a gorilla, ironically. But it, she wears a like, big pink jumpsuit and I love her. Uh, I won't spoil anything yet in case we get her, but... Um, let's see... No new announcements still. We're still in this first introductory week, so things are gonna be a bit slow as far as our town's progress goes because it's all like, get this much money and spend this much and then you win so you know it's just gonna take a minute i have been donating to the museum regularly uh, we can go and check that out i have just been doing that off screen because it's a lot of monotony of the same old thing a million times so we don't really need to see it until it's we've got things in the museum to show off i want to expand oh okay that's right i immediately went to the wrong place. It's been such a long time since I've made loan payments because my other house, my main game, is obviously paid off, so... I just don't remember anything, which is super fun. I do love that when it rains, like, Digby wears that yellow poncho that's so cute. Okay, so... Let's see, repay loan. Yeah, we have 45,000 bells! Alright, we're just gonna pay... Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna pay the full amount. And we are st <laughs> still barefoot. <laughs> still running around like a hobo. Those eyes, though, they say it all. Okay, so one of the other things I'm gonna say today is that if you know me and you know my Animal Crossing projects, my previous Animal Crossing projects, I like to keep my videos around 15, between 15 and 20 minutes, no more than 20 minutes a day because this is a daily project. I am posting a video every single day. Um, it does take editing and for this project in particular because New Leaf has two different, oh my gosh, this roof is so cute and we can't buy it. Oh wait, we can because I didn't say I want to expand yet. Should we do mermaid? No, let's just wait. Let's just get a bigger house first, because it'll be back another day. Um, or, well, maybe we should, like... Oh, we don't really have that much money to spend anyway. Okay, never mind. We'll just make it bigger. I'm being indecisive. But anyway, daily these episodes are going to be 15 to 20 minutes because it takes... Um, you know, it takes a minute to edit. It's not to too terrible. It's not like the most difficult thing to edit in the world, but when you are posting one video every day, it does make a difference, so um, that's kind of my reasoning behind that. And you figure, you know, my typical project updates probably three times a week, and each video is 20 minutes long, so it's like an hour a week, whereas for this, you get, um, you definitely get over that. Even if I did like 15 minutes a day, you're still gonna get over an hour, so. 
like obviously but anyway oh my god they have an orange hat too oh my gosh they have like the oh we're just gonna collect the fruit like I'll take it here we can have this twig in our mouth so we look really hillbilly okay let's see and we have I like this little thing on the wall that says she basically graduated from Gracie Grace oh this kind of matches our outfit now I mean I looked terrible in glasses the other day when I tried them on but we could try oh that actually looks kind of cute okay let's do it and we're gonna get an umbrella and I love that it's the grass pattern that is so so exciting to me okay so I'm kind of waiting until the end of this week to show off any amiibos if I even do that this week obviously we will want to show off amiibos um, probably every day in the future because you get rewarded for it so oh my gosh she's warming up a little bit I love the spider web shirt too oh shoot I didn't put my glasses on okay oh but I can't have my twig on the same time balls yo okay well we'll just do the glasses for now we have a closet that we can put all this crap in so that makes it more exciting because it's raining we might have some gyroids already as well maybe not we might have to wait till tomorrow but we could check and see okay still no freaking fishing rod I forgot that one day and haven't had the chance to get one again okay let's buy our fortune cookie for the day and see what we've got so all right we're gonna eat it and there was a fortune inside let's see you should consider a career as a professional cart rate Ooh. I think I know what this is gonna be okay so I got a lucky ticket and yes ticket number 32 number 32 is yay a cart we're so lucky okay good so we can go test this baby out in our house and something we haven't really done all that much yet is run around and talk to neighbors. I've been too busy like running around and getting furniture and falling into old habits of just like collecting fossils and whatnot. So um, no worries. We will definitely talk more to the neighbors. Probably, um, you know, way, way more as we have less money to worry about. Because we will come to some standstill times where we're not just like worried about getting crap to pay off our loan and like I said this week's kind of wonky anyway because it's the introductory week so you know they all want to talk about things that you may not know but you do if you've ever played this before doesn't this rain bother oh yeah I didn't put my umbrella on well let's talk I've been thinking how nice it would oh yes no I wish you'd come now I love that she is friends with Bianca that is the cutest thing ever watch I'll forget and she'll be like oh you didn't your house wasn't open that's an hour from now come on now balls all right well whatever Bianca home no okay well let's put our umbrella on and see see who all's out no one is over here in this little corner I cannot wait to build a bridge over in this corner by the way we will also go test this furniture before I forget so something fun if you have happy home designer a happy home oh my god just stop if you have a happy home designer file on your 3ds then you are eligible for this really easy way of moving furniture around in your house and oh my god it makes like the world of difference look at how cute that is oh 
it makes a world of difference when you're like trying to rearrange everything in your house because you can just like drag and drop and easily rotate like it's really really nice but I don't have a file on here so I'll have to make one so we can we can do that um, I'm going to put some of this away right now I'll organize this off screen and we'll just save the retro sink for later when we have more to work with we should also check out retail because we haven't been there in a little bit you know what I want to do though uh-huh da 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 I love that the music is different if it's raining it's all twinkly and sweet and like oh it's raining outside oh man okay wait ready Let's see if this works. Okay. Can I do this? No, I didn't want to... I know you've just about had it with this rain, but... <laughs> oh no! She fell in! No! <laughs> Poor thing! Caesar's all bad-mouthing her over here. <laughs> But she was bad mouthing him. Fine, she deserves it for telling your house that it sucked. Here, we're gonna wait. What do I? What does he want? I want to redecorate some. Okay, let's. Oh, we should give him. Uh, we should give him back this freaking washing machine. Watch him be like, no, I don't want that. Take your stupid loud washing machine back. I'm so excited to have a big old bathroom. That'll be so much fun. Party in the bathroom. We need Jingle to come back so we can get some party stuff. So the HHA can be like, what were you thinking? Why did you decorate like this? I brought it! Okay, so I also street passed myself, so I will now be able to show off the Happy Home Showcase with my other house. You gave me this washing machine! Don't look all shocked! I'm gonna have such bad karma that's- I'm gonna have a town full of gorillas. Like, I can just see it now. A tumbleweed? You seriously gave me a tumbleweed? No. You have- No. None of these animals are ever home for me to see inside their weird freaking houses either. Oh. Alright, well. If I can get around this- car okay oh it's like my dream to have this big old tumbleweed in my house you know uh, that's cute all right um well on that note i think i'm gonna close out this episode because believe it or not it's already been um almost 20 minutes so i hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode of big pimp Hopefully we'll get some new neighbors moving in here and some new stuff going tomorrow and hopefully it won't be rainy. So I will see you pimps then. Peace out guys. <laughs>